Looks like I've got my week cut out for me. You know, I never liked the flannel. It's just not the same as a real police uniform. It doesn't command the same kind of respect, same kind of fear as the badge in the blue. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh, great. These guys again. Yeah, that about sums up my thoughts on the matter. No fucking way, you pieces of shit. Not while I'm around. Yo, Vince Desi, my man. Saving my ass even though I think I've killed him in every single postal playthrough I've ever done. Nothing personal, man. But you're fired. <laughs> but I just started yesterday. <laughs> Have a nice day. What the? His guys are chopping the heads off of the zombies. That's not the pro-postal way. Because you gotta destroy the heads. It's all about the heads. Hey, dude. It's been a while. Where you been these past few years? Just resting. But now I'm in the process of finding my lost dog, Champ. Don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand? Listen, man, I'd love to help, but nothing's free. Tell you what, I've got some action I could throw your way. Take care of this for me and I'll see what I can do. Doing jobs for Vince. I don't see that working out. I mean, what's the worst that could happen besides a nuclear holocaust? Vince is gonna love this. Anyway, welcome to the Church of the VD Clan, where the love is infectious. In these hollowed halls, I'm known as Papa Desi, Chief Big Dick. Vince wants me to get toilet paper, deliver some motherboards for some arcade machines, and wreck the competition. But this time, I don't think we're going to use a nuke, because that would be redundant. About that. <coughs> I've still got this bullet in my head, and it seems to be affecting my voice from time to time, as if some psychotic alternate persona is slowly taking over my mind, and... Enough of that! I'll tell you the secret of finding Champ once you take care of a few things. Vince and friends have set up shop in the old church, but I don't get any thanks for clearing the Taliban out of it. There's a little bit of a zombie problem next to the church, and I can't seem to get over there to take care of it on my own. You know, dedicated employee that I am. I mean, that's no problem. I've killed way more zombies for Vince before, so I think he might just be a terrible boss. But I should wait until I get a paycheck before I kill him again. In regular Postal 2, you can get to the cemetery if you just go past the train yard a little. But I guess not here. But I do find this cop that arrested me yesterday for no fucking reason. Got a lot of balls coming back here. You think I'm gonna tolerate corrupt cops who aren't kicking anything back to me? Sorry. This police force is a joke anyway. They get squeamish when I kill bandits. Isn't that your job, sir? Isn't that your job? I'm totally on board with the vending machines having crack in them. $75 a pipe? Do you know what the dealers are charging me? This is getting rid of the overhead, I guess. Mechanization is taking jobs away from drug dealers, but if I'm being honest, it's probably saving their lives. While I'm here, I might as well do one of these errands. We've got to go to the arcade and deliver some motherboards for the hot new Postal Redux game, and look at these subtle game ads here. Extreme Loathing. Accurate. Balls out. In which I assume Little Mac gets teabagged. Metaphorically. I'm here to deliver this season's hot new game sensation courtesy of Papa Desi. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept a video game that espouses such vile and immoral filth. I must reject your violent game on my moral grounds. You better accept this game unless you want to see your insides strewn across those moral grounds. Oh, yeah, I really like Corey Cruz in this game. You got spunk. I like that. Tell you what. Meet me in the back room and maybe we can work out a deal. You see, I run a little business on the side. You might say I'm the kingpin of a massive gun trafficking operation, but you didn't hear that from me. Right I now, like I only need a few extra firearms to complete my next shipment. This Just drop the right me, guns into great. those crates and I'll be happy to take that game off your hands. Huh. Well, I do have all these guns. He wants my pistol, shotgun, machine gun, grenades, all that stuff is easily replaced. This dude is trafficking guns? In paradise, I can't throw a rock without finding an assault rifle. I don't have a rocket launcher yet, I was gonna buy one, but you know, I got priorities. Listen, instead of bowing to the demands of the skeevy crook type, how about you just install the motherboards yourself into those open arcade cabinets? Say, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Good thinking, me. Yeah, that's what you think now, dude, but this should always go sideways. We gotta stop listening to the voice in our heads or else how's paradise gonna become a better place? You remember what happened last time, don't you? The last time we had to leave this town? Yeah, there's nothing worse than that, except maybe tech war. So we're gonna do this legit. We're not gonna kill anyone, we're gonna raise money to buy a rocket launcher, and we're gonna play the game. Business is business, you gotta do it if you wanna get anywhere in life.
Okay, so how can I make some money? Still isn't enough. I'm outside the wipe house where I can pick up toilet paper. I mean, how much can they charge for that? Is this everything? Yes. That'll be thirty-eight dollars. What kind of clip joint are you running here, Yokel? Don't make me call security. Shut up, moron! Thirty-eight bucks. That's pretty steep, but I do have it. I'd like your finest roll of ass wipes, please. That'll be sixty-eight bucks. Hmm. I'm sorry, but you need more money. I guess you just want everyone around here to smell like shit, right? Kids, you're lucky you can't smell paradise right now. Or any post-apocalyptic setting for that matter. Imagine what Fallout 4 smells like, honestly. Smells like a Meyer Lurks taint. Shame about that sudden price hike. Hey, why not earn some extra money at the local Cash for Cats vendor? He set up just outside the store. I don't know what he's using these cats for, but it can't be any worse than what I'd do to him. Welcome to the Wipe House. How may I wipe you today? Hi there. That'll be... One hundred twenty-eight dollars. Hmm, come back when you have the money. You gotta be fucking kidding. Will you look at that? Another price hike. Tough luck there, but I'm sure you can still make some more cash at the Cats for Cash vendor outside. Now the oh, flowers wow. will grow. I hope you can soak all that up with your fancy toilet paper, asshole. You going, sissy? Christ! Motherfucker! You sick bastard! Oh, man. I gotta find more of that good stuff. Looks like I really have no choice. Get the hell out of here, you- Surprise, motherfucker! I think yeah. I've embarrassed this guy enough. He's drenched in piss and I stole his toilet paper. Mission accomplished. Shit. Drop it, asshole! Oh, well, now you fucked up. Just kidding. And that cash for cats grifter, too. I still don't have enough for a rocket launcher. Okay, so no money, plenty of drugs, I got a wanted level that's pretty much constant because I don't have a lawman uniform. That's fine, it's a crutch anyway. Shady game publishers have money, right? PU Games is set up in the old bank, I mean, that can't be a coincidence. Also not a coincidence, all these knocks at double fine. This Psychonauts one, it burns just a little. You got your cosmetic items department, you got your day one DLC department. I can understand running with scissors making fun of day one DLC. It is shameful. RWS takes their time, and Paradise Lost itself is, by my calculations, day 4387 DLC for Postal 2. Hmm. A giant supercomputer that I don't have any idea how to disable, but you know, dynamite should work. What? What? I'll kill you! Oh shit, the big boss is coming. I better go guns akimbo for him. Okay, so I have enough money to buy a rocket launcher, and then some. The CEO of PU Games is a weird motherfucker. I'm not talking about the butt plug in his office behind the arcade machines, which I'm not even gonna show. Can I show that on YouTube? You know, I'm just not gonna show that. However, I will show you the elephant foot wastebasket. Elephant foot wastebaskets? The kids love them! I couldn't find one in Apocalypse Weekend, but thankfully, here we go. In all its glory. This is exactly what I expected. I gotta get out of here before this randomly spawned cop notices me. I'll just take the secret bookcase. He oh, really? Now the flowers will grow. What fucking moron designed this? Fuck you. See that? We did a mission and nobody died. But there is a shitload of gold in that guy's office. Shit! 
Wow, that was fast. I haven't even stolen anything yet. Ow! Jesus, this is getting a little serious. Look at all these guys. And they don't have that old Postal 2 machine gun either. They have the expansion pack MP5s. This is going all kinds of wrong. I gotta stop doing this. I shouldn't have given him that rocket launcher. All right, fuckers, now you've done it. You're lucky I don't have any catnip. Time for the old Wolfenstein method, bottleneck and blitzkrieg. I know what you think. I don't even like this. Yeah, I'll take that rocket launcher back, thank you. And all of these guns, as far as I'm concerned, none of you are qualified to run a gun trafficking operation. So that's like 700 bucks in gold? Whatever could I do with it? Hey. Okay, great. Thank you. If you say so. Great job, dude. The church really appreciates the work you put in. Right. Uh, now about Champ. Yeah, you want to find and cure Champ. Have no fear, for I have the knowledge you need to know. Yes, sir, I, and I alone, possess the secret. And all I need to do now is tell you that little thing. To find and cure Champ, that one single secret you need to know is... What the? You should have let me take care of those zombies, Vince, but no, I have to go deliver games. Oh shit, these zombie assholes are breaking in from the fucking cemetery. Remember, to take these guys out, you gotta go for the head. Speaking of getting head, how's it going? Ah! Oh, great. Now my day is complete. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired from life. It didn't have to be like this, Vince. Damn, this whole place is being overrun. Flowers will grow. I knew that stuff wasn't good for me. <laughs> we are triumphant over the zombie oppressor Vince and his clan. How many times do I have to kill you guys? And wait, weren't you a head wound hallucination? What the and fuck? Who do we have here? Oh god. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Holy me! It's the dude! Vince's second in command! Well, I'm expecting a promotion. You're the tyrant who exterminated so many of our kind and whipped my ass eleven years ago. Yeah. Quick my minions, take him prisoner. Oops. We have some unfinished business to take care of. You're gonna be spending the night in the junkyard. You're lucky this is a cutscene.